Earning very good money in your dream job definitely has its benefits. You get to spend on things you love without having to answer to anyone at all. Hey guys, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel. Before we get started with today's video, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Click to stay in touch with all the fun-filled and entertaining videos we share on this channel. We will send you a message once you click on that button to notify you of our next update. With an incredible net worth of about $280 million, it is no news that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is living his life to the fullest. But then, one could easily wonder what luxurious things the highest paid Hollywood actor spends his cash on. Well, in this video, we're going to check out what The Rock blew a quarter billion dollars getting. It is possible you already know that America's favorite superstar may currently be leading a lavish lifestyle. A lifestyle of very costly, custom-made suits, fancy cars, and an incredible collection of wristwatches worth more than what the average American earns in a year. Yet, behind all those luxuries is a very nice guy who gives back to the community, his family, friends, and co-workers. I sure hope you are still sitting, because we are about to reveal what this super nice guy, and probably the best thing to happen to the collection of hard bodies since Arnold Schwarzenegger, spends a quarter of a billion dollars on. Dwayne is not called The Rock for nothing. A close study of his physique will reveal an attractive chiseled physique. This probably might be one of the reasons for his rise to fame. The Rock rose to prominence in a showcase of professional wrestlers with WWE back in the 90s. Wrestling was his first career before he took a leap into Hollywood, where he made his first debut in the 2001 film The Mummy Returns. This was the very beginning of making one blockbuster hit after another in the film entertainment industry for this charming and very talented actor. With a lot of filming jobs coming his way, it was only a matter of time for his bank account to scream with the effect of the changes. If his muscles were anything to go by, then we can easily relate his bank account to be as big as those muscles sitting on his arms and chest. A report revealed about two years ago stated that films like Welcome to the Jungle and Jumanji made The Rock over $120 million. And, in just a year, he became the highest paid actor in the history of filmmaking. Naturally, when other celebrated names come into this sort of massive wealth, they go about spending on themselves. However, it appears The Rock has different ways of spending his. And we can bet you are just going to love him more for it. For people like Dwayne, their family comes first. It is no secret that Dwayne Johnson is a big softy when it comes to his family. You could certainly have your eyes misted over with tears once or twice on the heartfelt message this big bear of a man sent to his 18-year-old daughter, Simone, on her 18th birthday. This post would surely make you want to call him dad too. There have been many photos making the rounds of this giant spending time with his babies and having tea parties with his three-year-old. This big-heartedness doesn't end there. In 2015, Dwayne gifted his uncle, pro wrestler Tong Fuff, a replica of his custom-made pickup truck, Ford F-150, that he paid over $60,000 for. According to Dwayne, it was his way of thanking his uncle for being very supportive of him during his early days in his wrestling career as a pro wrestler. Also, in the Christmas of 2018, the Rock made his mother an offer to buy her a house in any location of her choice. He recorded the reaction of his mother to the news and uploaded it on his Twitter handle. Well, it appears his offer to buy a multi-million dollar home could be a thing for Dwayne. He extended the same offer to his father, retired wrestler Rocky Johnson, and this came months after he gave his mother the same. He must have really loved the Ford truck, because in 2018, Dwayne also gifted the replica of his truck to his stunt double cousin, Tanoi Reed. And, more on his activities with cars, it is only right that the star of the popular Fast and Furious film franchise owns a personal collection of those fast and flashy automobiles. To make this a lot clearer, let's go take a look at what Dwayne Johnson has stacked away in his garage. As we already know, the F-150 isn't just a truck for Johnson. It is apparent it is his signature for love, affection, and appreciation. 
It is, however, not the only vehicle this Hollywood superstar owns and rides. The Rock also got himself a bright blue Hennessy Velociraptor. This is a performance vehicle that boasts 278 horsepower. It has a V8 engine and can go from 0 to 60 in just 4.1 seconds. And can you guess how much this powerful beast goes for? If you only have a paltry sum like $150,000, the car can be yours in a snap. <laughs> just kidding. That amount is about twice what the average American will earn in an entire year. For Dwayne, nonetheless, this is just pocket change. That is nothing compared to what Johnson pulled up in during the premiere of his HBO show Ballers. A shiny Pagani Huayra sports car. An Italian-made roadster that cost about a mind-blowing $1.3 million. And then there is definitely more to his collection of cars. Check out Johnson's V12 6.5 liter engine, Rolls-Royce Wrath. This classy piece of beauty is a 950 horsepower automobile that costs just about $332,500. Agreed, that is nothing compared to the amount spent on the Pagani, but do you know that Dwayne also got himself a 950 horsepower Ferrari La Ferrari worth $1.5 million? Sadly, the sports car was way too tiny for his large framed body, so Dwayne had to give it up. The next thing this big dude spends his money on is the $4.5 million Florida mansion. The mansion came with a full-sized custom home gym. What you may not know about this home gym is that it cost Johnson a whopping $300,000 to have it set up in his home. At the center of his home gym is a $2,000 multifunctional Star Trek trainer machine. And that is not all. He also has in his possession a full set of Iron Grip brand dumbbells and bars. Each of these grip dumbbells costs several hundreds of dollars. There's also a Kabuki Transformer squat bar that costs about $700. And then again, there is a full set of weight machines by Hammer Strength that must have cost him nearly $3,000 per piece. The gym is also equipped with Precore Fitness Cardio Machines that cost as much as $9,000. If you're not yet impressed with his home gym, then you most certainly would be thrown off with the full kitchen loaded with personal chefs. This kitchen is situated just a few meters away from the gym. It goes to say that if The Rock was ever to get hungry while exercising, all he had to do was take a walk to his kitchen and get his tummy filled. Dwayne has an amazing body and a structure to die for. Anyway, it seems working out is not the only method The Rock uses to feel and look his best. I'm sure that you had no idea that the movie star hunk owns a collection of flashy designer wristwatches worth tens of thousands of dollars. His favorite is Rolex. According to Johnson, he has always wanted to own one since he was a child. He bought his first $35,000 Rolex watch in his early days as a high-profile wrestler. Sadly, being new to putting on Rolex watches or even owning fancy bling, Dwayne forgot to remove the watch before getting into the wrestling ring. He ended up busting the Rolex watch just one week after buying it. Though what happened to the Rolex was an unfortunate event, I am confident that the current Dwayne wouldn't even notice. Johnson now owns a water sporting model Rolex called the Sea Dweller. This very cool sporting model retails at a really chilly $14,600. But it seems his passion for Rolex has dimmed, and in its stead his love for Italian-made Panerai Luminor watches has grown. There are two of the Panerai Luminor that he is mostly known for. The model he wore in the Fast and the Furious 5 the Panerai Luminor Submersible that can go safely to underwater depths of a thousand meters. It also costs about $12,000. The second watch is the Panerai Luminor Submersible 1953 Days Chrono Flyback Automatic Titanio. This timepiece can boast about a 72-hour power reserve and costs about $9,200. On a side note, however, during the filming of The Scorpion King in 2002, Johnson mistakenly punched the late actor Michael Clark Duncan in the face. As a way of apologizing, Dwayne bought the Green Mile actor a custom-made Rolex. It was a very pleasant gesture, but sadly, it appears a lot of people took the action the wrong way, as some people made it a thing that when you get punched from the rock, you get appreciated with a jaw-dropping timepiece. That's it for me on this video, guys. 
If you're still wondering how Dwayne The Rock Johnson spent $280 million, well, here you have it. I hope you relished this video as much as I loved making it. Anyway guys, that's it on today's video. If there's other things you believe Dwayne spends his money on that aren't listed in the video, drop your suggestion in the comment section below. I'll be sure to include it in subsequent videos. If you loved this video and would like to see more, be sure to give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. That's it for me guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have an excellent rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.